I was on social media one day and I had been following Coach Johnson, but he had posted about something called FCA camp. And I had never heard of it before, but I remember like seeing the video of him talking about it and the pictures and just reading about it, what he had said. And I was like, wow, that sounds like amazing. And I was like, if I can get involved in that, like I really wanna get involved. And so when my senior year started, um, it, we started like a huddle group and I jumped in as soon as I could. I started attending meetings. We did them whenever anybody was available. I mean, I just loved coming and just sitting and hearing Johnson talk and just hearing the word because I didn't really get to hear that very often. I would maybe go to church sometimes and then I would hear it, but getting to start my day with FCA um, really just definitely changed my life pretty much. And it changed the way that I walked through the hallways at school. It changed my relationships with people. But I really, really did enjoy just talking about you know the way that God has worked through me not only in my personal life but through my athletic life I know that the second semester of my senior year especially with it being softball season really was impacted by FCA because of the way that I was able to bring what I was talking about every week onto the field with me and to just spread it to my teammates. And I remember inviting them and them being excited, and, you know, even though it was at 7.45 every morning, they were like, I'm gonna try my best to come. And I really did enjoy seeing new faces as many times as they did come. I made my senior year all about stepping out of my comfort zone. And that was one of the big ways that I was able to, and FCA gave me that opportunity. Um, and I'm really thankful for Johnson and Cotner for just opening that like door for me to lead an FCA because it really really did change my life and so our last couple of meetings we started talking about FCA camp and I was like oh I've heard of that before like that's what I wanted to get involved in now it didn't go without me being nervous and just feeling a lot of like stress and anxiety about it because I was like well that's not something I've done before I was going to be stepping into an even bigger leadership role and something again was just telling me to just do it to just step out of my comfort zone and do it and I a lot of my senior year again was stepping out of my comfort zone but it was also about stepping out in faith for me and that was it was really like this season of softball and my last year of high school was really about trying to bring God into the equation of it and FCA really helped me with that um, so the, we were a couple weeks out from camp and I was asking all the questions to people. I was like, I don't know what to bring, I don't know what to do, am I prepared? I remember texting Johnson and just telling him, I'm like, I don't know if I'm prepared. I feel like I'm gonna go into camp and people are gonna be like so, you know, on fire for the Lord. And at the moment, like at that time in my life, I didn't feel super on fire for him. But I remember he was like, you know, we're not prepared for a lot of stuff in our life and you just have to walk into camp and just open yourself up to it. Like give yourself the opportunity to embrace it as a whole. Like don't, like you can go into it scared, worry, but none of that's gonna matter once you get there. Like, and that was definitely the truth because I remember the first time I stepped onto the campus at EMU I just like I was so nervous I saw these people I had no idea who they were but it was the total opposite of what I thought it was gonna be I thought I was gonna be like a sore thumb sticking out there who just like looked like they didn't know what they were doing but I was pretty much welcomed with open arms um, but camp was just like a I don't like I never could really find the words for it. it was like an indescribable experience for me because I had never been in that kind of environment before and I was but I wanted to go into that week just fully submerged and fully all in with, for camp because I wanted to take whatever I learned at camp home with me because I knew it might not be the most perfect thing when I come back home I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to be self-disciplined and work hard to continue what I'd learned at camp um, I, I don't even know if I had a favorite part of camp. A lot of it was just pretty awesome, but I will say the worship experience, I had heard about it. I had heard it was like awesome. You got to be in the chapel with like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. And I thought, well, that's kind of either nerve wracking or awesome. And I remember my first night there when we had our first chapel, 
and just getting to and just looking around me and seeing all these like hands raised and I'll be honest I'm I've always been kind of nervous like worshiper like I haven't been the first ones to just throw my hands up in there but by the last day of camp I was so proud of myself because I was just staying there worshiping you know without a care in the world I didn't really care who was watching me um, just because that worship experience every single night of camp really left a significant mark on me but when you are so intentional about the spaces that you put yourself in and getting to be in an environment like that, you can build crazy friendships with so many people within just a week. And I think that's, it's crazy, but it's also amazing. I needed camp to really shift my focus and to just really change my view. I really just do encourage it because it can literally change your life. and. For me, that is something that it absolutely did for me, and I'm just super excited to continue my journey with FCA Involved because I don't think I'll ever stray away from it now that I know the kind of experience that I really do gain from it.